Hey Prackies, happy Friday. Today is my day off technically, so I'm in my casual dress. And I, but I thought I would jump on and um, do the two minute tutorial for this week. Um, so this week I had an in, in, inkling to chat to you about palpating lymph nodes because uh, palpating the lymph nodes, um, you know, obviously what is, is really great to check for acute infections and things like that. And for some reason where I am, there seems to be a million a million people getting sick at the moment. I'm bumping into them all over the place. But also, okay, so there's, there's a couple of things that happen when we palpate lymph nodes. First of all, when there's absolutely no infection, whether that's acute, chronic, or anything more, more sort of serious, is that m most of the time we shouldn't actually be able to feel the lymph nodes at all. So if you're sort of feeling around for things and you can't feel anything, you haven't got it wrong. It's just most of the time you can't, palpate a um, lymph node unless it's enlarged. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is some really basic um, things that will differentiate an acute infection with a lymph node and something more serious that we would red flag as being possibly cancerous and definitely something that we would um, be following up on. And needless to say, we are never going to turn around and tell someone that they have got cancer are we we are going to um sort of take the notes and talk to them about about sort of going and getting some further investigations done okay so when we're palpating lymph nodes there's a there's an acute effect infection is that when we palpate them usually what will happen is is that the enlargement will be on both sides so that's when we say it's bilateral it will also be tender to touch so the person will sort of be sort of wincing or feeling the pain when we are um when we are palpating it and also it will be movable so you'll sort of be palpating and you'll be able to move that lymph node around whereas as opposed to when things are possibly a little bit more sinister and a sign a red flag for cancer is that usually the enlargement of the lymph node will be on one side so it'll be unilateral it'll be non-tender so you'll be palpating it and going oh how does that feel is it sore is it tender and they'll go no it's fine Okay, and also it will be fixed. So anything that's cancerous will be looking to sort of fix on to wherever it is or whatever's going on. So um, that is another little little telltale, telltale sign that further investigation is warranted. As I just said, we are not going to be using the C word. <laughs> For anybody, we are going to be asking them and providing a letter for further investigation. So, acute infection, bilateral, tender, and movable when we palpate it. And something a little bit sinister, possibly cancerous, is going to be unilateral, which means it's only on the one side. It's going to be non-tender to touch. So we will really be able to palpate it and get in there and they won't sort of wince or feel pain. And it'll be fixed. It'll be fixed to something so we won't be able to sort of move it around. Okay, there we go. I wonder if I made it in two minutes. I probably didn't. But there are some things to think about when we are palpating lymph nodes. All right, start from the beginning. It's not too long if you missed the if you missed it. All right, you guys, have a great weekend and I'll see you next week.